Hey guys, let's do mission 8 of the crew campaign. So we've got a lovely overcast day out here. But at least it's not blinding, which is kind of a nice change. Um, we're still in the Arctic, and it looks like we're going to be doing a little more oil carrier, oil platform work. So let's have a look at our situation here. So this is April 9th, 2016. The weather is changing rapidly, although Serega Promenov, he's a flight engineer, says that not too fast. It used to be worst. Worse. Not worst. Dimitri met Anastasia in the dining room. She found out about his participation in the military conflict of South Ossetia and interviewed him for about an hour. Tarasov does not want to recall the past, but how to forget it. He has not figured out yet. Today is a difficult day. It will be necessary to transport cargo from, to a distant platform and pick up passengers from the farthest well. Both points are located north of Solnechnaya Station, on the border of the restricted flight zone. Commander, did you hear the news? Dimitri was greeted by the flight engineer. What news? That you lose in billiards and disgrace our crew? Ha ha, very funny. Maybe I lose in billiards, but in chess, Commander, I'll beat everybody. I'm just kidding, Sergei, no offense. What news did you want to talk about? The helicopter pilot's qualification commission arrived at Chelyabinsk 15 station. It includes an old uncle, Roman Yaryashev, Yaryashev, a 10-time European helicopter champion, air rally, current coach of the Russian national team, qualification judge of the International Helicopter Sports Association. They say that he is looking for students from the Mi-8 crews. Mi-8 is not involved in helicopter sports. The class is not the same. Three people in a crew. This is a lot for sports flying. Well, I don't know, Dimitri. Apparently something has changed. The information is verified. Soon they will come to us. You will see. Okay. So our task, uh, the purpose of this flight, is transporting cargo. This will be our first uh, sling loading mission. On an external sling from Solnechnaya Station to oil platform CDNG-4, and carry passengers from borehole number 112 back to Solnechnaya Station. Average speed with cargo 130 kph, without cargo 190, average flight duration 75 minutes, an hour 15. Emergency frequency for the ARC UD. So we'll be doing the ARC UD radio nav this time. We've got channel 3 and channel 5. Uh, Solnechnaya, Channel 3, and then Chelyabinsk way at the other end of the island, Channel 5, if we, for some reason, ended up over there. I'm not sure if we're going to end up needing the Arc UD this time, or if they're just kind of hinting that it's coming, and I should make sure I know how to use it. <laughs> um, but that's cool, so we're getting to do some new stuff now. Having a look at our briefing images, um, oil platform. All right, here's our path. So we start here. We're heading out uh, northeast towards HP Vietka for our oil platform with cargo. That's quite a trip with cargo. Should be fun. And then we're headed up just a short little hop back to land to the borehole here and then just a straight shot south uh, for 43, almost 44 kilometers to come back. Here's a look at the borehole site. It's not telling me specifically where to land, but I'm assuming it's probably right in here. There'll be a flag, a windsock as usual, I'm sure. And then our last one here. So here's where we take off HP at Kritka. And then kind of right over here is our cargo site and then the rest of the station down here. So um, there's the NDB. All right, easy enough. Well, let's go. The pre-flight check is complete. Flight manuals on board checked. Latches, doors, hatches closed. Перезарядка по плану. Командир, нет возможности. Altimeters are checked. Pressure and altimeter adjustments as per charts are checked. On route fuel reserve is taken into account and included in the total fuel load. April 9th, 2016, Solnechnaya Station. The reports are accepted, helicopter examined, no comments. There are no passengers on board. Aerodrome frequency is 126. Flight engineer, start up. Roger, start up. Switch on the anti-icing engine system, pedo heating, batteries. 
Outside temperature is minus 30 degrees. Is it? Andre, check the PDO no. heat is switched on. Um, which engine are we starting first here? Kind of looks like the right one is downwind. Get our left engine started. Commander, cargo box at the site. Cable on board. We pick up the cargo ourselves. There's no control from the ground. The plant is the tablet. Good. Is the cable attached? We'll have to leave it on the platform. There won't be any place to land. Yes, Commander. The cable is attached. There's a special tag in our board number and our call sign for confirmation. Good job. Arch 9 frequency is 745 kilohertz. It's the UDNG for long range platform. The NDB frequency is 112, 995 kilohertz. Navigation information for DISSMT. Direction to MRP, 336 degrees. Distance to the platform is 37.4 kilometers. 37.4. Let's get that in there. Right, I haven't turned it on yet. Let's finish turning things on take before off. we do that. Heading 260, ready for takeoff. Andre, check to see if the system heat is on, please. Ready for takeoff. Ready. Ready for takeoff? Ready. Okay. Ready for takeoff? Ready. Not quite ready for takeoff, but we're almost there. There. On. Okay. And then I'm going to set the same thing over here. 336. And then probably something like that. That's good. All right. Let's check out our cargo. So F6 for all cargoes. Um, okay, cargo box, 2,700 kilograms. If we pull up our own weight, we're at 90, almost 9,200 out of a max of 13,000. Uh, we don't have IR suppressors on, but we do have anti-icing on, which I haven't turned on yet. Um, anti-icing will reduce this maximum fairly significantly. <laughs> So I'm not entirely sure if we're going to get off the ground with that cargo without shutting off anti-icing, but we'll give it a try and find out. Uh, oh right, I lose my middle seat when I do that. So let's jump over here, we'll turn anti-icing on. And then double check, yep, yeah, dust protection's on over there. Okay. Trim for takeoff. Give or take somewhere around there. Release the brake. Let's uh, roll into the wind here. And then we'll take off from here. go is a little bit not so nice. Uh, that's because I forgot my center channel autopilot. Need to be a little more active on the stick if I don't have the autopilot on. So we're going to head over pretty slowly, and we'll turn into the wind as we pick up the cargo. I'm 
and I'm probably going to retrim for a hover before I try to pick it up. This is one of those things where slower is faster. And the more time you take to get yourself set up, to get trimmed for a hover, to get stable, the faster you'll be able to actually hook up the cargo and get off the ground with it. Okay, so let's bring it down a little, and then find a good hover. It's about 20 meters, thanks radar altimeter. Somewhere like that should do, and that should make my life a little easier as I try to move in on the cargo here. Alright, there's my overlay. I need to come down further. And then we just move straight in. I'm surprised. I really didn't think I was going to get up off the ground with anti-icing on. Anyway. Let's see if we can turn towards our destination. So far, so good. Now maybe we can pick up a little speed. Rotor RPM and engine RPM look good. Speed's coming up, it's just over a hundred. There, and we're gonna oops, slow it down just a bit. I don't really want to go above 150 here. Retrim. Now I'm looking for 400 meters, so we can continue to climb. Oh no, it's swinging quite a lot. Let's uh, slow it down. That's a lot of swinging. We're at the altitude. 
Поперечная раскачка. Дрозу правая люка. Сброс скоро. Okay. Поперечная раскачка. Дрозу правая люка. Сброс скоро. Продольная раскачка. Still swing in, but not as much. That's good. I think we were just going too fast. Okay. There. And hold that. That looks better. It's just going too fast. All right. We are on course. We've got 34 kilometers to go. Drifting a little left, which is okay because we're actually a bit right of course, but we can reduce that slightly. Oh, there it goes swinging around again. I didn't do anything. a little high. I need to come down anyway, so. A little slow for what the mission wanted, but yeah, I'm okay with that. We've left the airdrome area. Commander, duty frequency is 130 Was I supposed to be on 126 or something? Now I'm supposed to be where I am, but... Okay, how are we doing? Ugh. Yuck. That's no good. Just kind of hoping if I just stay steady, it'll sort itself out. I don't know if I should be actively trying to slow it down. Do need to slow down a little. not annoying at all, eh? I should probably install that mod that mutes that. Holy crap. That is really swinging. A lot. I'm gonna lose that cargo. Alright. Let's slow it down. I mean, it could also just be DCS physics. I know that sling loading can be a bit glitchy. But usually that's for multiplayer. How am I doing? Still swinging, but not so bad.
whatever that measures anyway. So what do we have? The elevation of the site above sea level is 42 meters. The cable length is 15 meters. We have the height of the cargo box and the error of the altimeter. In general, the height of the cargo release is about 60 meters as shown on the instruments. It is necessary to take into account altimeter variance, which reads the altitude to the load, and not to the ground due to turbulence. Roger that. We'll begin a slow descent in advance. At 100 meters to the platform, we should hover and maintain 80 meters AGL. Okay. Yeah, we're swinging again. It's because we're going fast. Slow that down, keep our slow descent here. Still got a ways to go. There. Alright, we still have 15 kilometers to go, so our descent... ...is probably just fine for that. Visually, I feel like I'm sinking a lot faster than I am without something to look at. If I look here, I feel like I'm sinking rapidly. If I look down at that cargo ship, which is now obscured by my A-pillar. There. Then I, you know, I feel fine. <laughs> Trust your instruments. Approach five at Kritka or is it Shbora? I don't remember. Nope, not it. Nope, neither of them. Neither of them. I'm on 125.5, right? Yeah. Oh, did I turn easy comms off? That might be why I'm having issues. Okay. I'm supposed to have it on for this. Platform of two towers, set the load on the runway, okay. Seven seven two. There. The two towers, so that's it there. Okay, keep our speed up. Altitude is coming down, but we're still way too high. Okay, keep the speed up enough. We need to continue descending.
That's where we're going. Okay. The turn. And slow. Not too much. Continue descending. do this right, we should be able to transition into a hover without wrecking our engines. Keep that speed up for now. Surge, altitude control. Andrew, get ready. Working. Ready is all wet. Okay, we're almost at the right altitude here. Actually, we are. So we're going to hold... Let's get ourselves over the cargo pad, and then we'll set down. I gotta be a little higher than this, not much. Man, I drifted a long way. Okay. Well, let's go back. It's hard to hold that without a reference point. Pretty damage to me. Andre Arc 9, switch to well 
There it is. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Oh, I got a screenshot of that, but... I'm getting a little bit of task saturation here. That uh, cargo drop takes all of my focus. Now I'm getting new instructions. Alright, so let's jump over here. Ooh, where's my mouse? Flip that. Okay, I'm not going to set the Doppler, I'm just going to follow the beacon. Commander, what the hell? What happened? There, on the left, heading up on the ground. I thought those were sunbeams trying to break through the clouds. Out there. Apparently a UFO. Yeah, it's pretty hard to reprogram the Doppler. Um, let's go just turn that off for now. It's pretty hard to reprogram that while also trying to fly and while listening to mission updates and so on. Multi-crew would be nice, though I'm not sure who I could find to uh, willingly sit in my co-pilot seat and just update my radio nav and my Doppler nav and all that stuff on command. All right, we don't need to be so high. Alright, cargo slinging is uh, stressful. That was hard, there's no point of reference in front of you. And you can't really see much below because you're, you sit so far forward. And I can't really look this way to hover, not very well. That's tough. I can't believe I got that cargo in there. All glitched through the floor and everything. I wonder what happened. I must have dragged it in like part way and it just didn't blow up for some reason. Other way, I'll take it. Alright, so that's where we're going. Sure, I can do that. There. Oh yeah, I see them.
Okay. All right. Um, away we go. Let's be 240 kph. Oh, all right. Can we? where we're going instead. And there's those like light dots in the sky. Interesting. I hope they actually come through in the stream. Let's see if I can zoom in here. Those things. And then there's lights in the sky as well, in the clouds. How's our speed? 240. Hey, look at that. We're right on. Jump over to the left seat for now. Alright. Speed's coming down. Altitude's coming down. Try to make this an easy-ish landing. Get nice and low. Transition into our hover while in ground effect, hopefully. Yet. Landing course is two six zero method standard descent in ground effect. Two six zero. Ready. Ready landing. Ready. Basically, got to turn around into the rain. Well, that was an awful approach. Let's see if we can salvage that a little. Bring it back. There. All right, now we'll go sit down next to them.
hard to tell how close to the ground I am. Just watching my VDI mostly. Down as slowly as I can manage. Reset trim, brake on. Access the descent option through the F7 radio menu. I'll set the organize of the Solnachnaya station frequency. 705 kilohertz. Come on, you gotta get out of here soon. I don't like the stand blow. Okay. I absolutely agree with you, Dima. We have to get out of here. All right, start embarking. Oh wow, I'm actually going to see troops. The course of Solnachnaya Station is 184. All right, let's um, put that in. 184. We'll do that over here as well. Up there. All right. Um, they're still walking over. I'll wait for all of them. A little hustle there, guys. Be appreciated. Although I do appreciate that, it is cool. They are in stable condition. One in serious condition. Two of them in front of the left. That doesn't need to be on priming. <laughs> okay, so we've got our course. Um, yeah, we're just gonna follow that. Let's go! RPMs look good. Let's come up a little more. Turn for the beacon. We'll overfly the well just in case. Here we go. Just to double check, we're on the right beacon, we're on reserve 705, yep. Oop. Don't crash. Okay. I recognize that voice. Start gaining some altitude then. Uh, I'm on oh seven oh five, that's why. That's better. All right. I was still on seven six five. 
which then points us right towards Solnitchnaya Station, which is not that far away, really. Probably start slowing down. Well, not quite yet. We're on our way to the station. Frequency is 126 megahertz. I'm pretty sure I was supposed to be on 126 then at the beginning. Otrika, Romeo Alpha 22845, I took the cargo. Heading 336, estimate airspace departure in six minutes. <laughs> I broke it. smacked into the ground there. It's very unstable up here. Up here? What? Oh, that's got to be one of the uh, other ones. Okay. Hot Creek uh, inbound. We're going to go around. <laughs> I 
paying more attention to the double radio messages than to my speed and altitude and approach and all that. So we'll just go around and do that again. Two six zero. Yeah. Bring in collective as we slow. And set her down right here. Trim reset, break on. Okay. Left engine correction. Flight engineer, help the passengers with evacuation. Andre, engine shutdown. This is not going to be a good score okay. because of that cargo drop. That was gross. Excellent. Holy crap. I guess it was okay with the cargo clipping through the platform? Huh. And with me drifting away instead of hovering? I'm surprised I didn't get punished for that. Awesome. Um, okay. Well then, I guess let's do a shutdown. I'm surprised by that, honestly. Alright, here we go. Uh, we'll turn off all the things that we need generators for, so we'll basically work our way backwards from what we did before. There. Can turn this off. Right there. I don't know, I'm forgetting. Is there actually something I need to do? Yeah, off. There we go. That's it. Okay, that panel's off. Uh, Anti-icing off. This panel off. Radar out. Backlights down. Okay, so everything that we needed Power 4 has been turned off, so we should be good to spool down our corrector, our engines. Wait, not yet. <laughs> Generators off and rectifiers. There we go. Now we can spool down the engines. Okay, now we can shut off the fuel to the engines. Alright, I'm not waiting longer, I'm just going to throw the brake now. Turn off the fuel. Turn off all the things. Circuit breakers. Okay. Inverters and batteries. And there we are, cold and dark. 